Hi Aries, how are you? This is your love reading from the 13th until the 19th of May. This is the week that we do the ancestor as well as the spirit guide message at the end of the reading. So your ancestor can be passed on loved one. It can be somebody way back in your family that you may not even know. It's going to be very interesting to call them in and see what they've got to say with regards to your love life, Aries. So we're going to be checking into your person you and your person's energy, your joint energy, um, what's going on in the relationship, outcomes and advice from these two beautiful spiritual beings that help you guys in your life. They're always around us. So we're going to call them in. Um, spirit guides for Aries, please come in. And ancestor energy as well. Oh, we've got a nice big herb. We're going to let it burn. Please come in for Aries and at the end of the reading, please give your advice and guide this reading as well, please. So Aries, this is a general reading. If it resonates with you, you're going to know. If it doesn't, then you can check back next week because they fluid all the time. If you want to reverse energies as well, you can do that. And as you can see, I've got a little guest on my table. I found three little lost kittens. I have one cat already, so now I'm officially the cat woman, cat lady. Um, this little one doesn't kind of like want to leave me alone, so I'm hoping she will kind of like just sleep here on the table. She's always around me, so when I come in here, she keeps crying by the door. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so Aries, let's get into it. Um, yeah, if you want to know her name, her name is Gypsy. Isn't she cutie? Yeah, let's get your energy. Yeah, it's your energy. Okay. Gosh, Aries, no. What's happening now? Uh, you have got a nine of swords, your person's energy. Oh, now they've got a nine of cups, reverse energy. What's going on, Aries? Let's get a joint energy out for this relationship as well, please, spirit. You made me see that one. So let's see what's going on. Full card. This may be a breakup that I'm very well looking at over here. Um, because you've got a nine of nine of swords energy. This is a person. Oh, this is a situation that's stress and heartache and pain and worrying and just things not going all right. I feel like this may have been something that just abruptly ended, a connection that just ended. Um, they've got the nine of cups reverse energy in their energy as well. Both of you got nines. It's like you're mirroring each other. Um, so the energy of this person, on, you know, you can reverse energies, but I doubt what I'm about to say is going to please you. But anyway, so stick on that side. Um, the energy of this person is a little bit, um, a little bit of a spoiled energy, not really um, appreciating what they've received in life, you know, taking for granted. That's this kind of energy. It's like taking for granted um, the situations that you have, the things that you've been given, the love that you have received. You don't appreciate this. Um, sometimes Nine of Cups energy can be an energy of someone who's never really satisfied with what they have. So this is interesting. Uh, whatever has happened here, you got a full card. And I feel like this was a breakup because this is when you just leave. Um, it's not in the upright position. It's in the reverse position. So this can be like you just leave. And at the same time, you don't really even know like what's going to happen now. This this might be like, are we even going to continue? Is this is over? You may have been in a relationship with this person for quite some time. That's why the full card is coming up as well. Because sometimes when the full card comes up, it can mean you don't quite know what to expect or what's going to happen next. Even if you with this person um, or they, you guys have separated from each other, you don't really know what to expect. Really know what to expect. Let's get some more confirmation cards. They say, as I see them, please open them as I see them. So let's have a look and see. Um, yeah, you may have been dealing with an issue here. There's an, something in your energy. And on this side, you've got the King of Swords hey, in this energy. It kind of matches what I was describing. Because King of Swords um, can get pretty cold. King of Swords can get pretty cold. Um I always look at swords energy for me, myself, how I interpret the cards as being sharp, sharp tongue, you know. So queen of swords, king of swords, this person is very vocal, so they can speak a lot and they may say a lot of things. Um, when it's in the reverse position like this, they can be very sharp tongued and maybe quite cheeky person. I just feel like they, they're, taking, they're not taking what they received from you seriously. Um... The energy of the King of Swords as well. This person can be very judgmental. I'm going down on the cross watcher. Sorry, guys. If this is you, then you know it's not you. Okay. Um, this is for specific people who are going to get this reading, you know. 
Um, it's not for everybody I'm reading for. Um, this person can be a little bit judgmental, a little bit stuck there. So uh, on your side, you got the devil card reversed energy. Uh, I think this is getting, it's hard for you. This may be becoming a problem, especially a devil card with a nine of swords in your energy. Um, if I had these two cards drawn for myself, I would know, I mean, I, I've got a problem, you know. I would know that I'm obsessively thinking about something. I would know that I'm getting into a place of anxiety, stress, because of this situation. And I would also recognize in myself um, that I'm thinking about something obsessively. And I'm thinking about this connection. I'm thinking about this person and what has happened. So that is kind of like what I'm looking at there. Um, the devil card reverse energy can also indicate um, things like addictions, uh, dealing with addictions, dealing with compulsive behavior, dealing with um, out of control, like passion, you know, because sometimes when we, we meet somebody, we can get ourselves into a situation where you almost get like addicted to a person. And this could be what I'm looking at in your energy there. It's like very hard to let this person go. Even though they can do this, they can act so cold. Because the sword's energy, king and queen, reverse energy can be quite cold. Can be quite um, narrow-minded outlook. Doesn't want to open up. Doesn't want to look at different points of view, stuck in their own kind of points of view. So let's have a look and see um, what is going on in the future energy here for this reading. This is going to be interesting. Um, what will, what outcome are we looking at here? Spirit guides, ancestor. I think they're going to have something quite important to say. So we're going to see when they let out the cards. Let's see. You've shown me one outcomes. Let's have a look. All right. There, yeah, I told you, they can, this can be like, um, let me move this up. This can be like, you know, we have this attraction for somebody and it's very hard for us to sometimes, they want me to take out four cards here, so I'm doing that. Yeah, yeah, this could, I'm going to say this, guys. Um, this person really, they themselves can be quite secure in life, okay? Um Okay, I'm going to explain this. I have to explain exactly as they're giving me this information, as it's coming in. So when you view this person, um, they're an ideal person, I have to say. They are everything you would want in a mate, a person, um, because they have the king of pentacles. Um, so could be work-wise, they're quite financially secure. They are where they're meant to be in life. They can handle and take care of themselves because this is the king of pentacles, Okay. Um, with regards to emotion, it's matching here, okay? Now, that's why it could make them a little bit spoilt as well. They're so used to having everything they want to have. The thing is, because of this energy, because of this energy, they do make you feel insecure with the Four of Pentacles energy. This is just your energy. This Four of Pentacles reverse energy, this Devil energy, the Nine of Swords, this is how they're making you feel. Both of these leads you to this nine of swords there. The thing is, it's like you can't forget this person. Um, because of who they are, it makes you hard, makes it hard for you to forget. And you still want to offer this love. This ace of wands is still there. Now, I want you to have a good look at these cards. I hope you can see them all. Yes, you can. There is an ace of wands here. And there is an ace of cups here. So it's like this person, they can offer you something. They can offer you a relationship. They can offer you whatever it is they can offer you. But the one thing they cannot offer you, which leaves you in this insecure position, is the love that you need. And that is what you're feeling. That is what you feel is missing from this connection. The spirit guide just also said to me, um, this person may not want to go exclusively with you as well no wonder um they may kind of like have their all their options open they may not want to date you exclusively they may want to be in this kind of energy of um i'm not dating i'm dating i'm dating plural and it's right for me to do so and i haven't yet decided to commit to anyone um i don't know about that you know what i'm saying i don't know about that anybody comes into my energy 
you better know what you're doing, you know, otherwise, yeah, I don't know. I think this is kind of the vibe that's coming through is that they're leaving you in this, um, I'm with you, but I'm not offering emotion. Um, they say, wow, I, do I have to say that spirit guide? Yes. Oh my goodness. They say their energy, it's almost like they, it's like you it's a privilege to date me kind of vibe goodness gracious so it's like if i hand you if i spend this amount of time with you i hand you all my little scraps you should be privileged to even receive that from me and um, this person is absolutely not ready to commit today enjoying their life the way it is right now uh the thing is you find this person attractive they are exactly what you want somebody to be in life um, it's just that they're not offering anything serious. So I like don't know what you're going to do, Aries. I don't know about this. Um, I don't know. So let's let's do this. What are we going to use? We are going to use... We are going to do this. I want to open up the cards a little bit. I always like to use this deck for my ancestors, okay? Because it's my oldest deck whatsoever. I call them my ladies, but they're not. It's the princess... The tarot of the princesses so let's get spirit guide messages out and then that ancestor message spirit guide i'm going to be taking two i want to get a message and a confirmation message it's this one let's hear what your spirit guides have got to say about this whole situation oh boy look at this you've got a high priestess energy together with this um three of swords exactly what i was just saying this person is leaving their options open um, they don't mind to see more than one person at a time at all at all at all at all and this is really hurting you they may even tell you this in your face i'm keeping my options open i'm not ready to settle with anybody i'm still dating i'm still on the scene or whatever they call it i don't know i didn't date or anything so i don't know about all these things the rules i don't know i'm just saying um spirit guide is asking you to please trust your higher intuition your high priestess which is the card that they have brought out next to this three of swords so they are asking you please to go within um these three swords is what's causing all of this it's all these cards it's this attraction to this person it's wanting them but they're not giving back what you need um it makes you insecure it's like you can't let them go with the ace of wands and the devil card there it's like you're just on the cycle with them it's like they can like not call you for a while and then you're waiting for them to call you and waiting for them to call you and the moment they call even you may say to yourself i when they call me i'm not even going to answer that phone i'm not even going to talk to them and you know when they call you you end up answering the phone and um, maybe going back to them, this guy is going to be for a few of you. If this is not you, then you know it's not you. Then good for you. I'm so happy that it's not you if you're not stuck in this like cycle. Spirit guides like a little hamster wheel going around. They want you to try to use your intuition here. The high priestess doesn't just take anything at face value. The high priestess really looks deeper behind the scenes. Um, she's a, she is a FBI agent right there. That's high priestess. She can really go where sometimes we don't want to go it's so much easier just to brush things off and hope that everything will be okay but there are times that we need to actually ask the harder questions and if it means asking the harder questions with regards to this person and to this person and getting an definite answer then you may have to do that if it means looking within yourself in the situation and saying is this where I want to be in my life? It's like, I want to show you something. They just showed me something in the High Priestess card. They are asking you the choice. What I noticed in the reading um, was that this energy that is yours, I feel if it is yours, you'll know. It's a very dark black energy. So the High Priestess sits in a place of knowing. And she's asking you, this is your higher self energy, okay? Do you choose this darkness, which is one of the pillars, or do you choose the healing and the freedom? Breaking this, which is the light energy, which do you choose, dark or light energy? So the high priestess looks into that and goes, do I choose to remain in this place or do I choose to break myself free? 
OMG errors. Let's have a look and see your spirit guide. Your, uh, spirit guide. Thank you, spirit guides, for leaving that message. Um, they made me see a card. And um, this is Ancestor. It just flipped. I have to take it. Wow. Um, you got an Ancestor message. That's very interesting. It like, it's so funny. Um, I just said, um, Spirit Guide is asking you, do you choose the light, the dark or the light energy? And out comes the sun card. <laughs> um, this is one of your ancestors who actually wants you to choose the light. Eh? They're showing the sun card. They see something that we do not see. There is, there is possibility that this is two ancestors, by the way. Um, from different families, from different sides of your family. So this is your mom's side, your dad's side, your dad's side. They are the equivalent of each other. So if it's the aunties, it's the two aunties on your mom and dad's side. If it's the grandmother, it's the two grandmothers. Could be female energy, feeling it more. Um, they very, very talkative people can, yeah. They say, um, both of them are so much the same. They're very talkative. They were like the big mouths, both of them, of the family. You may know one of these, but not the other. Uh, but they're both around you. These people are with you. And they say, choose the sun, please. This will, it, you will find peace from this situation if you can step out of this cycle. It's almost like this is a karmic debt that you're paying. And they want you to pay this debt in completion so that you can step out into the sun they don't want you to remain in this dark energy any longer they don't like this it's like they say this is a trap it's like being trapped in a situation and they don't want to see you in this trapped situation at all um, this is a most beautiful positive card the message to you from them is that if you release yourself from that nine of swords, from this devil energy. Remember, nine, devil energy is even connected to karma. Okay, release yourself from being entrapped in a negative situation. There is such a positive energy that wants to move into your world. Okay, um, this is very good. The next energy that wants to enter is not anything like this what you're looking at here so they wish you to re try to remove yourself because this is they say there is a growth that will happen not only from what you're experiencing now but from when you leave this you will experience something that grows in your life that's not stagnant that doesn't get stuck it's going to grow for you where you want it to be there, there is a relationship coming in, but it's getting blocked by this energy here. So they want you to try to free yourself from this as much as you can. It's going to take them you to do inner work on yourself to do so because of the high priestess being there. But they wish you to free yourself so that you can see the sun rise again. But in the rising of the sun is entering a new energy into your life. They, they know this energy and they want to bring it in for you it's very interesting I feel like grandmothers coming through and this could lead to a very very serious commitment this could lead to marriage and children by the way if you if you pass that age it is bringing together our families again extending families could lead to a very serious uh, uh, commitment but if you stay and remain in this in this very negative situation here it cannot enter into this you're going to have to go deep in your self areas with the high priestess there to solve this and to heal this situation there we go Aries this is your reading thank you oh excuse me I just got a book thank you so much for for listening I hope this helps you and I hope this reading is for you and if it is for you actually I don't hope this reading is for you because I mean it's a hard place to be there I wouldn't wish that upon anyone I want to see you here in the sun not in the dark even this two cards the darkness this the light you know it came out so strong in this reading do whatever you can to get to this sun please thank you so much for listening bye